When do we use RGB? When do we use CMYK? When do we stop asking questions? Let's find out. How many colors does your inkjet printer use to print a colored image? Four, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. This is called the CMYK color model. Imagine you're a painter. To create a colorful painting, you can use only three primary colors, cyan, magenta, and yellow. To get a green color, you can simply mix cyan and yellow. Every time you add a color to an area on the painting, that area becomes darker. That's why CMYK is called a subtractive color model. Now, if you combine all three colors, cyan, magenta, and yellow, the result will be an imperfect black. So maybe it's a good idea to add a perfect black paint to your palette, don't you think? It's called investment, you cheapskate. Now, what about the RGB color model? RGB is red, green, and blue, the primary colors of light. This is darkness, no light sources, pitch black, total absence of we color. We get it already. This is a red spotlight, a green spotlight, and a blue spotlight. When red and green overlap, the light becomes yellow. When red and blue overlap, the light becomes magenta. When green and blue overlap, the light becomes cyan. And when all three spotlights overlap, the light becomes white. In fact, whenever you add a color, the light becomes brighter. And this is why it's called an additive color model. So to create a colorful image using light, we need to use red, green, and blue lights. But if printers use ink to create a picture, why do we even need light? Well. Have you ever run out of TV ink? Uh, no. Yeah, that's because TVs use light to show images, not ink or paint. What about your computer's monitor, your mobile phone's screen, the beautiful sun? They all emit light using the RGB color model. If it weren't for RGB, you wouldn't be able to even see the CMYK. There wouldn't be any light to actually see anything at all. <laughs> So in summary, use RGB when you design for the screen and use CMYK when you design for print.